If you're planning on using the yield data from your harvester to record the results for your trial, there's a few little simple tips that can help improve the accuracy of that data. Firstly, if possible, use only a single header in the area in which your trial is located and also the outside adjacent areas. Calibration between harvesters is an obvious error. This can easily be avoided by tasking the other machines in different parts of the paddock where the trial is not laid down. Another source of data error is sometimes present in the direction of travel effect. This has been noted in several trials, however is not consistent, that being that the harvester will record a slightly higher yield when travelling, say, north, as opposed to travelling south. This can be detected by analysing yield of immediately adjacent run lines. There should be very little variation in this data, within 1 to 200 kilos. The direction effect is neither consistent nor reliable. The best way to get around the direction effect is to harvest the trial area all in the same direction. That means that you harvest up the trial, jump over several run lines and harvest back down the paddock well outside the trial region. By this, all the run lines within the trial region are recorded in the same direction. It's also important to keep your header moving at a constant speed while in the trial zone. Pausing the header's motion, for example waiting for a chaser bin or a blockage, can easily distort yield data, causing irregularities in the actual recorded yield levels. Collecting yield data using precision agricultural equipment is a relatively simple means to assess a trial's results. Keep in mind, however, that the yield monitors on harvesters will never be as accurate as individual weighing of plots. It does, however, enable comparison between different regions of the paddock, and this is the key advantage in looking at variation in water use efficiency between production zones or soil types.